Welcome back again, patrons. This is Brad Reed, and we're doing a little revision today. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've uh, just opened my document here to kind of a random place in the middle. And what I want to show you today is um, how to get rid of one of the words on what I call the kill list. Now, that sounds a little dramatic, I know, but uh, these are the words that I try to get out of my writing whenever uh, possible, just because they weaken the writing a little bit. And um, some of these words don't seem at first glance to be all that bad. And it's only through discovering them in your writing that you start to see why they're weak. So uh, today I want to look at, um, we're going to do a little search here. Oh, why is my search box not coming up? Uh oh. <laughs> I do this all the time and it's not coming up for me now. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to look for a word that uh, plagues my rough drafting. That's what we're looking at here is a very rough draft. Um, this is text that I literally have not looked at since I wrote it originally. And uh, the word we're going to look for today is way. So as you can see, I've searched here for the word way. I've used it 450 times now. Um, I usually write in um, Google Docs just because it's so portable. And um, you can see that Google Docs flags anything with way, uh, even as part of the word. So I have a way here. I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm really just looking at this word way. So here's our first example. I had to find a way to appease him first. So let me get some context here. I'm sorry, but I didn't think this would happen this much. The crowded front room with its furniture like a parking lot closed in around me, and I wanted to escape to the bedroom. I had to find a way to appease him first. So the thing about way is that it's kind of a junk word that stands in where we can usually have a more specific word to um, bring some more detail to the writing. So I had to find a way. I could just change this to something simple, like I had to find a means to appease him first. I don't like that because it's really doing the same work, and I don't feel like that is a term that my character would use just based on her background. I'm always thinking about that too uh, as I'm looking for these words. So I had to find a way to appease him first. If a, if a word or a fix doesn't come immediately to mind, I sometimes throw it back in there and look at the whole structure of the sentence and see if I can just rework the sentence. Um, and what I'm realizing here as I look at this is I've got some garbage language in here that I don't need. Um, I had to find a way to appease him first. What am I really trying to say? I'm really trying to say I had to appease him first. That was, after all, my place. So we've lost that way uh, by looking that, looking that word up. It pointed out where I had extra words in there I just didn't need. And I had to appease him first is a much more direct, uh, forceful way way. There's that word <laughs> to say what I was trying to say. So we'll click through here again and see if I can find another example of this. This actually popped me all the way back, as you can see, to the beginning of my document um, where I've gone through and pretty heavily revised. So I'm going to zip forward here and uh, find a section that I haven't already revised to some extent. So the branch found its way into my hand and I gripped it hard, threw myself up and found myself straddling the tree like a giant horse. <laughs> now the, the first thing I see here is that um, I tried to make the tree uh, at, like the giant horse and um, it makes it sound like I'm, or the, the eye of the, the protagonist is the giant horse, which is obviously a problem in this sentence. Uh, we'll get to that another time, but what I'm worried about right now is this way. So, the branch found its way into my hand. Now, this is weird because this points out that the branch is the thing that's that's doing something here. Like, the branch is somehow autonomous, and it just came and got into my hand, and that's obviously not what's happening. My protagonist is grabbing um, that branch. So, um, to change this, we're just going to flip this around a little bit. I gripped it hard, which I also don't like, but that's a job for another day. So I gripped the branch. Um, I don't need hard in there because gripping already implies that you're gripping something hard. I don't know how you grip something lightly. I gripped the, front, the branch um, I also don't need into my hand because what else are you going to grip a branch with? We can lose way. I grip the branch and threw myself up um, and found myself straddling the tree like a giant horse. I'm, I'm going to lose all this later because I don't like that, but I gripped the branch and threw, threw myself up 
We're going to get back to up another day. That's a word that drops into my writing all the time. But uh, let's try to do one more here. This obviously is not a finished sentence, uh, but I just wanted to see the way this way gets in the way. <laughs> How's that for a disastrous sentence? Uh, we'll take this one here. As I walked, I began to chant the name Mo with each footstep as a way to distract myself from my thirst. Um, so again, so this seems a little out of context, not knowing the story, and I'm already looking ahead and hating this, but that's a job for another day. As I walked, I began to chant. Why begin to do anything? I chanted the name Mo with each footstep. And again, this is garbage language here. Look what happens when I take that out. Instead of I chanted the name Mo with each footstep as a way to distract myself, I could just lose that. The sentence is simpler, reads more direct, and that way is gone. I chanted the name Mo with each footstep to distract myself from my thirst. Who else's thirst would I be distracting myself from? Uh, from thirst. So, again, these don't make perfect sentences at this point. They have some more issues going on than just way. But I like occasionally doing these word searches for the words on the kill list because um, they so quickly point out where I've used some of this crutch language that I can either throw out or I can make stronger. So um, I hope you have learned the way to get rid of way in your writing uh, because that's the way <laughs> you should do it. Enough of that. Thanks for joining me and thank you so much for being a patron. Um, I can't thank you enough. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.